And there's a little bunny right near me. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Fantasy Life. Last time we used a special password at the post office to unlock this adorably ferocious nap dragon costume. And we also began our life as a woodcutter. We met little Monica here, and this is our master, Forrest. We just completed a quest about chopping down trees, as you would expect. Whoa, dude, he just chopped into her. A well placed swing and down she goes. Three cheers for Slimeo, woodcutting pro. By she, do you mean Monica? He looks like he's chopping her in half there. Careful with that axe, buddy. Crivens, that was a pure cracking swing if I ever heard one. Man, you listening to a dragon cutting down trees in the, the woods? That's not cool. And now you got a heap of logs all to yourself. With the blessing of the forest spirits, that is. Yeah, so Forrest sometimes talks about forest spirits. I'm not sure what he means. I mean, nobody I know has ever seen one. Yeah, you know not what you speak. The forest only talk to friends of the forest. What? Are you saying I'm not a friend of the forest? No, it's just that you and Slimey are still young and be patient, lassie. I'm a friend to the spirits. And even I've never laid eyes on the forest lady. She's the real forest boss. Funny that, the more I learn of the forest, the more I find I'm still a wee student myself. Oh yes, well, of course the forest lady's real, but only the forest protector can summon her, right? Man, there's a lot of stuff to take in. I cannot say for sure how to summon her. But enough yakin, Slimeo here has it. got heaps of stuff to do. Like make his first sale, for instance. Us woodcutters make ends meet by selling timber, of course. No time for slumber till you've cashed in some lumber. Ha! Words to live by. Now, don't forget about haggling or nothing. And anyway, Monica will help you out some. Off you go, get to selling. Okay, Slimeo, let's go. There's a timber merchant in the artisan district. Let's see what kind of prices he's offering. So, I need to complete a few quests here as a woodcutter, and then we can uh, head back in and fight some stuff out in the field. Hey, this guy's got a quest. This little cow. Look at that cow, it's huge! <laughs> little little eighth. Cows are pretty gross when you think about it. Big tongues, kind of smelly, weird noses. But they make amazing milk. Yummy, creamy, delicious milk. Look at me, I'm practically drooling now. Can you please bring me five bottles of cow's milk? I'm dead serious about this. I'll even pay you. How about 200 dosh? Okay, that sounds good. I look forward to drinking those five bottles of cow's milk all at once. He's gonna get sick. I like, can it, uh, he guess he's not a farmer, so he can't just like get milk from these cows here. Oh, moo! Want some fresh milk? Help yourself. We're always happy to share. There's more than enough to go around. How do we get the milk? Uh-oh. Oh, hey. It's actually in this little barrel thing. I wonder if I can just keep checking back here occasionally. Is this, this is a bowl, I think. Maybe not. Oh, there's something there to grab as well. I've got to try to collect as much as I can. So yeah, we're going to do our beginner, our novice woodcutter quests. And then when we're done with that, I'm going to grab Puppadoo and Peapod, my dog and bird pet. And we'll head back into to the field and fight some stuff. Now that we have this powerful dragon tamer costume, we should be able to fight some stuff. Maybe we'll take on a nap dragon ourselves. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but yeah. Even though I'm not a mercenary, I can still use my greatsword and uh, do that pretty well. You're just not quite as good if you're not using the life that you got the skill from currently. So over here, there it is, woodcutter. I also put some stuff away, so now we don't have to worry about running out of room in our pack here. Oh, hello, Monica. I didn't get a chance to thank you for your help earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Don't mention it. Anyway, I've come to introduce you to our newest novice woodcutter. Say hello to Slimeo. Hey there, kid. I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Hey, ho is your master, right? Monica's father? Well, technically, but it's Forrest who's really doing the teaching. Is that so? Well, he's a genius with his axe, that's for sure. And it looks like he's got you off to a good start. Those are fresh oak logs I smell, aren't they? Hopefully that's what he smells. Oh, his little sign looks kind of like a loaf of bread or a chocolate bar or something. Yep, you're right, as always. These fell to Slimeo. Not bad for a first assignment. I've got three of them for you today, straight from the woods. Okay, hand it over. Hopefully we get some good dosh for these. Well, they look great. Stout and cleanly cut, just like I like them. These will be easy to work with. Here's what I can offer you for them. 90 dosh? What? I won't sell. This is probably the only woodcutter, you know, lumber merchant in the town. Unfortunately, he's got a monopoly. Alright. So we can use lumber as material for carpentry. I might get into carpentry. I probably should do mining so I can do blacksmith stuff to make weapons. Great, thanks. Uh, well, how does it feel to make your first sale as an official woodcutter, Slimeo? Hey, look who's there. Oh, Forrest just moseying on down the road. What is he up to? He's walking in place. It's Forrest, ready to see him outside the woods. I wonder what he's doing here. Maybe he's got some business with the carpenters. Oh, he's got some dark business going on. It looks mysterious and shady. Hey, let's go tell him how the sale went. He'll probably sing you a song. We're off. Thanks again, and see you later. Always a pleasure. Come again. I look forward to buying more logs felled by your axe, Slimeo. Come on, I'll show you where the carpentry workshop is. 
What if Forrest is, like, secretly a murderer? And this is all just a dark... It's, like, leading up to this dark plot. Hey, it's a plushling. These guys are so weird. Tufts! Hello, are you a blacksmith plush? Tufts has a request, whether you are one or not. Tufts has been looking for a nice hammer for the artisans. Could you bring Tufts a good quality iron hammer? Tufts would be plushy grateful. <laughs> okay. An artist, artist, <laughs> an apprentice blacksmith should craft one plush. Oh yes, indeed. I was thinking artisan because we're in the artisan district. Tusk will give you three thousand dosh in exchange. Oh man, I guess so. That's one good quality iron hammer plush. Tufts is oh so excited. Sweep. So we need to become a blacksmith, I guess, so we can help this guy out. I think I, once we do this, maybe I'll switch to miner because it would really help to be able to craft weapons. I want to do a crafting profession as well, or life. And uh, we can make weapons to be a mercenary. Whoa, this place is cool. Look at that guy down there. Oh, that's the blacksmith stuff. And this is the carpentry stuff on this side. What's going on over here? Ugh, I love to help you, but I cannot do it. Please, there's got to be a way. Oh, that's the king's minister. He's talking to someone from the castle. Maybe we shouldn't interrupt. Oh, no. I'm telling you, you're gonna just walk doing the forest path and find an elder log. They're rarer than snowflakes in summer, mate. It could take years to find one. But you're our only hope, and the carpenters assure me there is no substitute. Aye, that's true. Top-class materials make for top-class furniture, no doubt. Alas, we have not found a single merchant who, with any in stock. And you never will. Logs like that don't exactly grow on trees. Uh, you get my meaning. Yes, of course. That's precisely why we've turned to you. You're known as the finest woodcutter in Riviera. Surely you can track down a single elder log. Look, mate. If I could do it for you, I would. I'd run out to the forest straight away. But I am no the forest protector, and he's the only one who knows where to find him. Please, Mr. Forest, on behalf of Castel Castle, I beg you. Pal, have you had your hair in check lately? He is a bit old. He has a powdered wig. Maybe we should go rescue Forest from this conversation. We have to find the Elder Log, maybe. Hmm, I'm ready to do it. I look like a dragon. Nothing can scare me. <laughs> Monica, Slimeo, I'm pleased to see you both in this particular moment. Uh, how to go? Perfectly well. We got a good price for the logs. You could call it that, 90 dosh. But I don't know how much dosh is really worth, actually, yet. Uh, but what's all this about you getting an elder log? That's a crazy request. Elder logs. Okay. Hmm. More valuable materials. Okay. So we need rare large trees to get one. Aye, you're not wrong. I'd love to help him out. But the man does know what he's asking. Right. Isn't finding a log like that simply a matter of luck? My dad told me that some woodcutters go their entire careers without finding a single one. The odds of finding one randomly are like one in a million. Math is nay my strong point, Lassie, but I reckon that's about right. Now, if you could have a wee chat with the forest lady, you might have better luck. But she is not known for her hanging around these parts. Slimeo is as likely to meet her as anyone. Which is to say, not very. In fact, only one fella I know has ever met her. I shouldn't have said that. It's my dad, isn't it? Aye. The old man was only was once known as the forest protector. Of course, times have changed a wee bit. I wonder what happened to Heiho. He's like off his game, but now Dad is well. He's certainly not cutting more much wood. That's for sure. Oh man, Monica left us. No, I love you, Monica. No, <laughs> you'll be my dragon bride, possibly. <laughs> Don't want to. Uh, yeah, maybe she'll like us. I I don't want to worry ya, but uh, Heiho spends most evenings cutting down pints. Uh, Barley juice at the crown. And without him finding an analog anytime soon seems a wee stretch if you ask me. But you should seek him out just the same. If anyone can find an analog, it's him. Okay, so he's at the crown. I wonder if he's there during the day, though. Okay, well, I wonder if we can get our pets yet. I think because we're on this, like, fledgling uh, quest here, we're not allowed to grab our pets yet. But hopefully we can. Unless it actually... Ch I wonder if our bliss rewards changed because we have a new profession. That might be why we can't get a pet. Okay, let's go to the crown. That's actually where Cervantes hangs out, so I can kind of run over there. There's so many shops that I need to start talking to these people and uh, figuring out what each one is about. There's so many characters we haven't conversed with yet and figured out what they're selling. Look at all this meat shop. We just passed by a furniture one. Hello, let's see if the cat has anything to say today. Meow meow, and sunlight, my pupils get really small. He was talking about his pupils changing in the different lights of day. I want to go back out and fight some stuff, but we need to complete our woodcutter task. Oh, I almost just talked to uh, uh, Cervantes here, but we don't think we have any quests for him. Hey ho, what's up, man? Don't be sad. Why is your voice so familiar? Did we meet recently? Oh yes, of course, it's you. Uh, don't remember your name. <laughs> Sorry, I forget your name. 
Anyway, if you're here to ask me anything about woodcutting, I must refer you back to Forest. But, hey, we need to get your elder log. You've already felled three oak trees? And sold them? Well, I'd say Forrest is doing a fine job with your training. I still remember the first dosh I earned as a woodcutter. Seems like I was it was just yesterday. Hmm. I'll just keep bugging him, I guess, maybe. Hey, what? They want an elder log. Gah, it's like they haven't learned anything. That's a fool's errand. Look, it's basically impossible. Especially for a novice like yourself. And yet, you don't even seem discouraged. What's the opposite of that feeling? Hopeful? Yes, hopeful. That's it. It's been so long since I've felt that way. It's almost inspired. You actually remind me a little bit of myself. Let's hope your story has a happier ending. Of course, I still think you're going to fail, but <laughs> it looks like you won't give up no matter what I say, so I might as well try to help you. This won't involve me putting an axe in my hand. Those days are done. But there's one thing I can try. This might seem odd, but I need you to shut your eyes and cover your ears, Slimeo. Both sets of them. Even your dragon ears. That goes for everyone in here. I'm about to perform an ancient ritual. What? <laughs> oh no, he's on stage. Oh, forest lady, hear my voice. I will now begin the ancient chant. <clears throat> chuppy, chuppy, happy tree! Let the spirit come to me! <laughs> hear me, oh, forest lady. It is I, Heho the Cursed. Oh no, what happened, Dan? I, uh, well, frankly, I didn't think I'd ever call you like this again, but here we are. A young woodcutter with the heart of an elder has moved me. As unlikely as that seems. So please, wherever you are, drop what you're doing and lend us a hand. Whoa! What? What happened? Did the forest lady appear? Oh, sorry, no, I just dropped a glass and it shattered on the floor. Sorry for the distraction. <laughs> young man. Well, I suppose that makes it official. No longer the forest protector. I should have known it wouldn't work. I haven't set foot in the forest for years. I spend most of the time with a glass in my hand than an axe. What did I expect? Ah, uh, well, there's a lesson here, Slimeo. Don't follow my footsteps. Sorry I couldn't help you. Oh man, where are we going now? We gotta figure something out here. Okay, we gotta find the forest lady. Maybe we just have to go out into the forest ourselves and see if we can find her. Oh, something's going down. Biff! <laughs> Whoa, look at the fountain! What's happening? So, uh, some weird splashing. I mean, I'm no splashing expert, but that is definitely weird. <gasps> hey! Elmi. Hello, I'm here! Whoever here is. It certainly seems weird, or wetter than most places. So, uh, who uh, summoned me? Anyone? <gasps> it's the forest spirit. She's so perky. <laughs> you know what? That doesn't seem quite right. Were two people trying to summon me at once? What are you looking at? Never seen a supernatural being materialize in a fountain before? Wait, that means you can see me. That's a good sign. I'm not usually this clumsy. You've got to believe me. So were you throwing coins in the fountain and wishing for something, spe someone special to appear? Well, congratulations. I'm here to grant all your wishes and make your wildest dreams come true. Ha, totally kidding. Sorry, I suppose that was kind of mean. Anyway, now that I probably rubbed you the wrong way, I could use a little help getting out of here. <laughs> this little all-powerful forest protector. He's got a nice braid. Ah, thank you. What a day. I sure didn't expect to be rescued by a human when I woke up this morning. Well, anyway, shall we get on with business? You're the forest protector, right? What? You're just a novice. How is it you can even see me? Wait, don't say anything. I'm going to practice my my reading skill. Use it or lose it, you know? How odd. I'm going to get a really strong ham sandwich vibe. <laughs> oh, you're hungry. No wonder. Well, try to focus your thoughts and let's try again. Here we go. Ah, you're looking for an elder log, am I right? Let me guess. You want to find it all by yourself to prove you're a worthy woodcutter. Well, that's a pretty ambitious for a novice, but if you're willing to accept a little assistance, I think I can point you in the right direction. After all, I kind of owe you one. Come on, I'll show you. You're one lucky novice, you know that. Haha! -ha. Okay, so we got Elmi, the forest lady, in our party now. Didn't think we would have a goddess friend. Is she gonna just float? Yep. <laughs> She's a little creepy, but okay. And we gotta go this way. We're gonna track down an elder log if it's the last thing we do. Run that stamina here. I'm trying to dash as much as I can, just so, you know, we get our our skill up there. Okay, so we gotta head into the forest, it looks like, or something. I thought the forest was the other way. Why is she leading me down here? This is very strange. Hmm. Somewhere over... Oh, it's actually over here. Oh, is there an old tree? This is right around where we actually did our mercenary quest. Oh, let me grab these, whatever they are. Carrots. We need cabbages for one of our quests, so hopefully we can find that. There's an old tree, if I ever saw one. Okay, look closely. It looks pretty old to me, and it's got all these... Sunbeams shooting out of it. This majestic tree has lived for hundreds of years. If it were felled, it would produce elder logs. I feel bad. Of course, only the most experienced woodcutters are allowed to harvest such a tree. Even looking at a tree like this is special. Never forget that. Are we going to chop down this tree? That bunny's just kind of creeping me out watching us. I've got to say, though, you're giving me a strong forest protector vibe. You look a bit like him, you know? Or is it just that you don't look unlike him? Hmm. 
Anyway, my work here is done. Only one more person I need to speak with before returning to the Elderwood. Of course, I still haven't figured out why exactly you're able to see me, even as a novice. Oh well, no point in dwelling on that. Good luck, Slimeo. Ciao! So, can we just try to chop this down? I hope we can. This feels... Oh, Bracken, who's that? Hey, excuse me! What? <laughs> it's a little weird leaf guy. Wow, you really did hear me. And you could see me, too. That means you are a really promising woodcutter. What is this little guy? He's adorable. He's got his own theme. I'm what's known as a leaf. Good to meet you. Me and my kind are a special type of forest spirit. I can sense that you hold great respect for the woods, an empathy that few humans understand. You have the potential to become a true friend of the forest. Of course, you'll have to promise to put any elder logs you har harvest to admirable use. And it's important to be thankful to the trees for their sacrifice. If you keep at it, with that mindset, you'll do well. Okay, so we have to find the sweet spot. Hmm. Change the angle of attack to try to find it. Swinging at the sweet spot causes higher damage. Interesting. Alright. We'll get some more materials than use well, if we find it. Hint, reduce a tree's HP as much as possible. Okay. And watch the gauge. And then use a strong... Okay. Alright, sounds good from, to me. I'll be. We'll be watching over you. Good luck. So hopefully we can get this. I guess it's noble to get something for the king. Okay, so we need to move around here. Try to hit it in the sweet spot. We're trying to find where it would be in the meter. Hopefully I don't chop it down before I find the sweet spot. Huh. There we go. Swing and a hit. There, I think I did it. And get something good. There's a little stump there at least. Haha. -ha. Huh. A special elder oak log. Nice. Aha. We only got one of them, but I guess I did well. Okay. Wow, Slimeo. Huh. Monica, you were watching. <laughs> this is such a weird scene. Bunnies watching a dragon boy and a leaf creature chop down an ancient tree. I was just out looking for Heho when I heard the whoosh and crack of a mighty axe stroke. And it turns out to be you, felling one of the biggest trees I've ever seen. Hey, Slimeo, congrats on felling your first elder tree. So I expect you'll be putting that elder log to worthy use, right, Slimeo? Uh, hello. Is there someone else here, Slimeo? Who are you talking to? She can't see this little guy. Don't worry, Slimeo, she can't see me because I'm a leaf. Only friends of the forest can see us. Hey, I thought Monica was one. We're invisible to most people. You're a bit special, it turns out. Of course, Monica is on her way to becoming a friend of the forest. She'll be able to see us soon. Sorry, Slimeo, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just getting a weird feeling we're not alone. <laughs> I keep looking over it in empty space. Well, no matter. Let's get that beautiful log over to the carpenter's workshop right away. The minister is going to freak out. Okay. So let's go turn this log in before we finish up here. I think we're almost done with our journey to become a fledgling uh, woodcutter here. I, uh, just laughing at that chicken, just kind of freaking out. Oh, we don't have much stamina, but we can walk over there. We don't go too much slower when we're walking. I think the more stamina, you know, the more we run, we'll build up that stamina, and we can kind of run everywhere eventually, I would hope. Oh, man, I want a horse. I keep thinking my next bliss reward should probably be more space in my inventory because you saw we ran out pretty quickly i went and sold some stuff i put some stuff in storage at uh, my little attic apartment which we got to move out of eventually that's what i'm saving most of my dosh for i want to move out of that little one room area i think Puppadoo and peapod deserve a bigger house okay so we're going to try to finish this quest off here and uh, next time i'll do another password i've got one that i want to put in there's a bunch of them that you can find and i'll uh Maybe change up my costume here. We gotta go fight some stuff as this, just to see how powerful this little Napdragon uniform is. There we go. Hello, Mr. Minister. I have your special Elder Log. Hello, Slimeo. Hello, Monica. I don't suppose you two happen to have a spare Elder Log on hand? Oh, <laughs> jokey, of course. Well, now that you mention it, voila! We got it. Handed over the special... I wonder if it was special because I chopped it down right. What? It can't be. Oh, but it is an authentic Elder Log. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I can't thank you enough. Ooh, I'm kerfuffled here. Now we can finally complete the wardrobe that the royal family deserves. Queen of Philia will be thrilled. Is this a noble purpose? So do tell, what mighty woodcutter procured this fine specimen for you? Hey-ho, perhaps? No, sir, the woodcutter who felt this log is standing before you right now. This weirdo that looks like a dragon. slimy <laughs> That's unbelievable. You mean to tell me a beginner managed to find an elder log? Well, seeing is believing. Fantastic work. I really owe you one, maybe even two. Again, thank you, I am in your debt. Please accept this as a humble token of my gratitude. Nice. I thought an elder log would be more than 500 dosh, but still good. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, uh, hey, we're happy to help. We're woodcutters, right, Slimeo? All right, I suppose we should report back to Forest. Off we go. Goodbye and take care, sir. Okay, so where is Forest? Is he back in the forest? Probably. Let's go find him before we finish up here. Thank you guys for watching. 
Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time we'll do some more action-y stuff. And uh, hopefully, oh, this way. Hopefully we can uh, go back out into the field and uh, start fighting. A couple of you guys have been giving me nice hints, telling me where to find certain monsters and stuff like that. Oh, he is over this way. It's confusing me. The little arrow is on the map. Got me turned around. He's probably back over near, you know, where he was in the uh, in the woods. So yeah, we're gonna go talk to Forest and finish up this quest line, hopefully. And we will be a woodcutter. Yeah, I want to try to do a lot of the uh, the different lives so we can get some new skills. But I also want to get out there and do some fighting. So maybe we'll uh, stay as a woodcutter a little longer. But I might actually change back to a mercenary here once we're ready to take on some bigger monsters. I want to try out the wizard one. I keep seeing that sign for the little cat familiar over there. That would be kind of cool to do some magic. What do you guys think? What life do you want to see the most? I'll sing to you on me friendly trees, your branches swinging in the breeze. Before I chop you down to bits, you'll soon be houses, barns, and ships. Ah, fo forest, your voice is dead perfect. As usual, am I, Dad? You shouldn't, you should have been a musician. Oi, Monica, what are you doing here? You look a wee bit suspicious. Kirvins, I cannot believe it. Nah, really, the two of you found an honest lunaire's elder log. That's right, and the minister was overjoyed. Now they can make a special wardrobe for the queen. Well, chop me down and turn me into something, some kindling. That's impressive. Ah, and we slime you actually found the tree. And cut her down? With your own two hands? Or with an axe. You're not putting, pulling first leg, are you? I don't like having my leg pulled. Absolutely not. Slime you really is a prodigy. I think it's time for a promotion. Aye, lassie, but that's not up to me. Your father makes the call. But dad is... <gasps> He's here. Right here. What, what are you doing here? Oh. Hey-ho, I think he's gonna be right. I think you'll find I am now a fledgling. <laughs> uh, the forest smells sweet. It's been a while. I ran into an old acquaintance, and she made me realize how much I miss this. Now I have some advice for you, Slimeo, provided you're willing to listen. Never forget that the forest spirits have permitted you to harvest elder trees. It's a rare privilege. I earned the same privilege shortly after becoming a woodcutter, just like you. The royal family even gave a special title in recognition of my talent as a woodcutter. I was the forest protector. Alas, the power went to my head, and I failed to treat the woods with the respect they were due. But that's enough about me. I'm here to help you. I want to make sure you can don't repeat my mistakes. Dad, you can start by recognizing Slimeo as an official woodcutter. Oh, yes, that is my role here. Well, let's take a look at your results. Aha, I think I did well. Got some quests done. Got some stars. And we leveled up. Nice. And we uh, got a bit of bliss for starting our life as a woodcutter as well. We are now a fledgling! Haha! -ha. Ooh, got a bit of strength and dexterity. Not bad. Yes, yes, everything checks out. Congratulations, Slimeo, you're not a novice anymore. Isn't that great? Before you answer, take a wee trip to the Elderwood. That's where you'll prove your mettle. Isn't that right, Forest Protector? Mm, yes, yes, of course. Uh, be sure to report to me every so often, especially after filling a new variety of tree. Although I will never again put an axe to wood, I am <laughs> still your master now. Evaluate your efforts. Aw, oh, poor guy. He just can't get over his failings in the past. But we'll succeed where he failed, of course. Hopefully. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And next time, we'll go fight some monsters. I'm excited. Alright, let's get out of here. Jeez, that's a lot of XP. Thank you very much. Aha! Alright. Nice. <laughs> Saving up. I was just distracted by my numbers. I got five levels. I got all this experience. And there's a little bunny right near me. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for more Fantasy Life. Whee! Goodbye!